Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Age of Origins at Backer Rush Gaming. In this video, I want to touch on the struggle that every single Age of Origins veteran is aware of, the struggle for resources. Because I'm desperate for resources trying to get the steel and minerals to get my HQ upgrade to level 29 and beyond. I mean, I'm getting there, but there are only so many elite mines available and the demand for them are so high that they run out pretty damn quickly. Or they are none available most of the time when I send my troops out for farming on a daily basis. Yes, I have 3 level 20 plus farm accounts, but by the time I get adequate steel or minerals in time, some idiots decide to burn us as they want a piece of those precious metals and minerals. Then, those same idiots also end up killing all my T3 troops, and it just becomes really demotivating to collect, get raided, troops kill, only to rebuild and try again for the same scenario to repeat itself every few weeks. So I was exchanging my experience with another fellow YouTuber and he was like, hey, check this out. And I was like, whoa, that's some pretty neat stuff that I never thought about. So I'm going to share with you this five key resource trick that should come handy for anyone out there who is on the same resource struggle as me. As you grow your city at the start, you don't don't realize this, but you can build up to 8 food, 8 oil, 6 steel, or 6 mineral resource output. So the first advice is to make sure you've built and upgraded the max 6 out of 6 both your steel and minerals resource outputs. I'm not going to compromise with mega stations, so I left that 8 out of 8, but I only made 6 out of 8 training centers, 4 out of 8 food resource output, and 6 out of 8 oil resource output. So this is the first trick you need to get your setup right. The second trick is something that everyone easily forgets and is very much underestimated. This is to activate your farm boost. You can easily get these farm boosts from the black market trade, but if you ain't bothered and got too much gold, you can also get these boosts for a small cost of 200 gold per day, and this will boost the output capacity. So in my situation, I have boosted both my steel and mineral resource output, effectively doubling their output per hour for the next 24 hours. I would advise this resource boost to be activated daily if possible, especially for steel and minerals. The third trick is utilizing your commander skills. It's not going to come cheap to keep changing your commander skills weekly from war talent to development talent and vice versa, but when considering the alternative, it's a lot cheaper. It might cost you 2000 gold to reset your commander skills, but for example, I maxed the development talent for my mineral output 1 and mineral output 2, this increasing the total mineral production by nearly 45%. Hidden within this is the harvest skill, which will instantly get you 6 hours worth of output from all your resource buildings. It has a 12 hours cooldown, which means you can utilize it every 24 hours. The fourth trick comes from your officers. The directors are the ones who can have the resource output skills assigned to them. So as you develop your officers, ensuring they have resource output skills assigned to them. This in turn will help you increase your resource output in your city. For example, Doc Gray has 14.2% increase in oil output and general resource output of 9.5%, while meanwhile, I am Medici has resource Resource output buff of 12.6% and mineral output buff of 17.4%. Therefore, in total, that's nearly another 40% boost to the mineral output production in my city. Finally, your VIP. Activating your VIP will activate many important buffs. But one of the most important buffs is the resource output boost of 40% at the VIP level I'm on. That's insane, right? By a simple click of a button, I could have been in receipt for a lot more resources than what I've gotten over the last few months. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were now to look at the details, the default mineral output was only 688 minerals per hour. However, with all these tricks, it has been boosted by 2,100 minerals per hour. That, that's a 300% boost, bringing up in total 2,800 minerals per hour. Multiply that by 6 mineral mines output, that's 16,800 minerals per hour. Then multiply that by 24 hours, it becomes 403,200 minerals per day. I will obviously also send my marches together, but if I'm lucky, I might get about anywhere between 20,000 to 30,000 from a full elite mine gather. 
before it gets depleted and these mineral mines are very hard to come by since everyone wants them therefore the city resource output is going to be your steady back well that's all folks thanks for watching if you should find this video helpful do smash the subscribe button leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos thank you goodbye